Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Europa and Visualis 4 Cradle of Civilization as the Mamluks that have formed Arabia. Last episode, we took down parts of Ethiopia and we started earning a crap ton of money. Uh, someone in the comments, or some people in the comments, said it's because we're not rooting out corruption anymore. We have a very high right here, very high rate right here. So, this is probably costing us like 30. 30, 35 dockets a month when we, well, when we are rooting out corruption. So that is why our income skyrocketed so much. Um, the goal is only paying me a single docket every single month. So, well, it's not that. It's still nice, but um, it was not because of the goal as I first thought, but no. Uh, okay, cool. So what are we going to do this episode? Yes, first objective is to actually free my troops right here. And, as my reminder right here tells me, I am was supposed to invade right here. Okay, so, uh, Hormuz, do we have a peace deal with, or do we have a truce with you? No, so, let's see. If we declare war against here, we have... <sighs> Sorry. Um, if we declare war right here, we have a... Well, you, we have you, we have you, and you against me. Okay. Not that dangerous, but uh, let's split up our forces. So I want 26, 26, 26, 26, 26. Uh, let's ignore you. And so one troop was probably needed right there. Uh, one right there. And one right there. Yeah, that's probably enough. I will just have you as a guarding unit right here. You might be able to get through. Well, if you get military access right here. But luck, hopefully, you won't be able to. And even if you get... We have two forts right there that should block off. Actually, none of this bad movement. Uh, we need to block that off completely. But we are declaring war against them quite soon. So building those forts would be kind of unnecessary. And we can remove this fort. Because we have a fort on the other side. Uh, remove that fort, maybe... Mm, yes, no, maybe. Ugh, damn it, I don't know. Uh, we can move, well, let's see. No, we built those forts because to block people off that are trying to sneak by. Whatever, let's keep the rest. Uh, bad harvest. Oh, no. We will get less, less money every month from one province. No, we're doomed. <laughs> no, I think we're pretty fine right there. Uh, let's stop training right there so you can actually get your well, morale right, right there. And then we're gonna very, 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 very soon assault. Come on, there we go. And let's see, everything is done and ready. Let's double check currently. Oh, you will now join the war as well. That's bad. I was hoping you weren't going to. Uh, let's double check with Spain and Hungary. God, you really hate me now. You really, really hate me. But we have a really good trust value with you, so I don't know if you will betray me. Uh, let's see, Hungary as well, let's see, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna make a couple of claims, let's see, claim right there, I'm gonna make a claim right there, and then I'm gonna stop building it in Ethiopia, and I'm gonna, as soon as I can, I'll just send you on improved relationship right there, might help me a bit still, yeah, improved relationship should be able to bump that up another 40, 50 somewhere, and right here, improved relationship should be able to bump it up at least 30 more. That should at least prevent it to, well, rise against us instantly. Uh, so, let's see. We have there a level 3 commander that we could promote to something better. Uh, let's bump you up. Oh God, 400 ducats a month. Or 400 ducats just for one level. And 800 for one more. Well, it's still worth it. F getting 5, 5 admin points from you. That's, it's just completely crazy. And something I really, 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 really need. And want so it's a no-brainer choice even if it costs me twice as much money I would still do it it's so good okay is there anything else we should do before the came this war I don't think so um, this could be a bit troublesome but I wait but wait you can at most let's see do you like or hate them you like them so you'll definitely get military access right here so you will be able to go through and just basically do whatever you want right there damn it can i somehow declare war against oh wait we have claims against everyone right here yeah we have claims against every single one right there uh let's ignore that well 
ignore that by spin spy network right here in Kara because we will need it somewhere else. If we declare war against you, then only Hormuz will join. And since we have permanent claims on this entire area, we can attack basically anyone we want. We don't have to attack them. So, let's see. If we attack them, then we just go in right here, clean up this entire area. And, oh, nice. Nice, let's do this. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's clear that war. You will join them. And then we will just march in if you give me military access. Yes, you will accept that. Thank you. Then let's just take both of these troops and just send in like this. Thank you and... Nope, you won't give so let's just keep my troops right here. In case of, well, them getting military access right here to just walk through my land right here. And there you go. Grab the lost area right there as well. And oh, you're all at war with a couple of nations or a nation. Uh, Nayaran. Where are you on the map? Oh, it's you. Well, I can attack you and take you over if needed be. Oh, well, I am going to because I also have to take in left. Yeah, that's it pretty good. Let's occupy everything I can then just declare a war against you as well. Wait, we have military access. Oh, is that everything? Okay, cool. And that's completely fine. I'll just declare war right after we have occupied everything right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just use prestige and legitimacy. Come on, take over the rest and we are done. Uh, unacceptable, I feel, yeah. Let's just go to legalism. We might need to go for full, basically, mysticism once we declare war against Russia because I check current force limits in the world. We have slightly more than Bahamas, but we are have much less than both Russia and Ming. So we still have a couple of very big enemies left in the world. And, well, I wouldn't go take it past both well, France, Russia, Fr France, Austria, Spain, Hungary. To well, Hungary I don't fear that much, but Spain, France, Austria, they might be troublesome. Maybe England, but usually not. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna place both my troops right there. I'm gonna place one army right there. Actually, no, no, no. I should place both my armies right there and have one army right there, because you are gonna go down right here and just bring everything down. You should be placed right there in the fort. Yeah. Come on, and then we're gonna cancel this military access, thank you. And then we're gonna clear war against you. Because you're kinda blocking my expansion path in their land. Uh, so, we want to clear war that, yeah. So, declare that war, thank you. Then invade right here, and... Come on. And then take down that army from Hormuz. As beginning, of course. We're gonna take down everything. Oh, really? My leader died instantly? Uh, let's get a new leader and let's go in right there. And um, where was that revolt? Oh, was it my puppet? Yeah, it was. Uh, let's send my 11,000 spare troops right here. And let's see who can get so a spare general. Oof. I don't want to send over my ruler as it. You're too good. Uh, let's see. Hopefully my puppet has a ruler. And uh, let's tell my puppet to attach their troops to that army. Thank you, thank you. Getting more stuff occupied in the name of me uh, going right there going right there everything here is now controlled is it by me yeah that's by me cool no wait no don't it's arabia let's take this over wait we can't we can't take that over aren't we at war with you you decided not to join the war against Ugh, come on we'll have to declare war against you as well yeah i think so so let's see that's your capital let's take that one we just declare war against everyone. And now you peace out with them. Okay. Fine. Fine. Just peace out with them. Whatever. Uh, we'll just declare war against one. This is why permanent claims are so good. I can just do pretty much whatever I need to. Just declare war right and left. Whatever is necessary. Uh, let's see. You go in. Let's see. No, we can't move our troops right there. Whatever. Uh, let's just bring down everything right here now. Damn it, my war was just gonna be liberate a tiny area right now. And now my war against here is kind of useless because I don't, I don't, I no longer need it. Now let's see all of these troops. Let's go in right here and save my puppet right there. Damn it, now I need those 11,000 troops right there. Uh, let's see, let's make this peace deal. Oh, wait, wait, we have 98% against you. Oh yeah, that's against you and you. So I would accept a peace deal if you just give me that. 
but you definitely don't want to do that. All right, then let's see. So the capital is down right here. So I'm, then I'm gonna well force both of these troops just go up here and actually save stuff. Um, you are still exiled, so I can't actually occupy you. Damn it. Uh, yeah, both of your troops just two stacks. Get over here and just clean up stuff. Um, okay, now only have one troop up here. Never mind. Send off both of them. Do whatever is necessary. Do not let them just run rav rampage right here we just do whatever they want okay uh here we're gonna just wait for that troop to get locked in and they're gonna trap them very good uh let's see oh god we have 999 admin ability Ooh, damn it uh we should have probably spent some of that uh let's see we can pick the next one right there yes let's pick the next defensive id and let's see what can we do with this admin points let's just develop a tiny bit so let's check what's good right now 17 16 then let's click right here 13 13 is so good still holy crap having the law having the having getting 0 0.13 for 30 admin points is nothing that's just really really good lead rate gain seed specialist okay cool and let's take back the land right now come on bring that down and just bring down that as well there you go that's now under my control this is on my control we can just clean this up quite soon after that let's just finish off whatever this enemy is thank you so 97 percent against you take all your money let's take war reparations give up claims in uh in arabia thank you and let's see what we want from you we want a direct access to that so we're gonna take both of these areas Collision might form, no one really dangerous, cool. Then let's just send that peace deal and thank you. So you're gonna keep some of your, well, new territory, you're not gonna keep some of your old. And let's see, that's you done. Now let's continue marching in to our next enemy. Right there, and you are now taking over this, thank you. You're gonna go right there, and I probably, I've been so inactive with this army, it's ridiculous. Uh, siege can, siege in where has right there so just take back their capital please thank you and you go and take well take down that army that's trying to well take back everything and it seems like you're fleeing then i will just well, block you in right here thank you then you can well begin from the very beginning like this like this like that awesome everyone is doing exactly as they sh what they should be doing cool a quick victory even if even if they were a bit annoying but we're fine we're really fine Cool, cool, very nice, very nice. Uh, you go in right there. And let's see, 100% against one person. Really, 100% against you? Oh yeah, we've been occupying the entirety of you for quite a while now. But it's really Hormuz that is the one big enemy right now. Let's just take down the lost enemy right there. Five years of separatists, lose 50 military points. Let's just get those five years of militaries. Or separatists, not militaries. That's Victoria. <laughs> Uh, I actually tried to get into Victoria 2 again and see if someone asked for a modded Victoria 2 game and I tried it out and I was like nope 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 that's not me I can't play it unfortunately uh, you still won't accept this then I will have to go over right there which means I would need my fleet right there which would mean um, I would have to go through go around this entire way and that's not possible so I guess all I have to do is sit here and wait Actually, wait, I don't need all of my troops anymore right here. Uh, let's lose one base tax. Let's grab two of these armies. Actually, let's grab three of my armies and just push back all the way right here. And leave one army, I guess, right there. You might be necessary. You might not be necessary. But basically what I'm thinking is they're just going to stand and train while you are finishing off the lost area right there. Uh, cancel, cancel. Oh wait, we should probably make a peace deal with you. It's actually not necessary for me to be at war with you. Uh, let's take these three provinces. Slight collision possibility. It's fine. Uh, give up claims in Arabia. And two rivalries. It's actually an actually no, no. It's actually necessary because we don't have full prestige. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of fine with this. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's let's just grab more land. It's basically nothing. Yeah, we can fully annex you. And all your money, of course. Yeah, it's barely any overextension, it's barely any aggressive expansion, it's fine. 
let's just annex you then. So we can make this entirety green. Green and nice. So we also get this in access uh, wasteland territory, so it looks pretty. Thank you. Uh, really? Really? Oh, right, you become separatist, separatist once I annex your entire nation. Oh, damn it. Well, mistakes were made. Uh, we c like, here in this case, I would never, ever pick the money, no matter how much admin points they have. But now when we have literally nothing to spend those admin points, of course we can spend on more development. But right now, I'm kind of more excited for the money, but it's so wrong. It's so very wrong. Oh wait, we never upgrade our... Oh God, we never upgrade our units. It's so very wrong to pick the money right here. Always, always, always pick the admin points. Ugh. But it's 800 ducats. That would be so nice. Uh, no, 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 no. Just invest the money. Don't don't be don't be tempted by the dark side. <laughs> uh, no, not in there. Yes, a couple tax buildings. Thank you. And let's see, a couple armor buildings. Nope. Uh, trade buildings. Yes, a couple of them. Let's see, any interesting places? Yeah, zero point fifty two. Oh, one, one more zero point fifty two and a zero point forty. Oh, nice. Two two new areas that I need to build. Maybe even more once I start looking at the other. Manufacturers. It's still definitely worth it to build the man manufacturers. They will repay themselves before time has ended, but maybe not super much. So, you will see a bunch of stuff to me. Uh, I will not accept whatever you're offering me because I already know what I want. I want all of this. And as, so well, as long as you don't give me what I want, I could actually deny that province. I could actually accept not grabbing that province because I can grab both of you and that would basically, well, still give me a walking line but I really would like to grab this one as well because that would give me access to your capital I think even if you have a fleet right here because I own one of the provinces but fine fine I'll just have to build up a small fleet right here and destroy you that way and war reparations let's see let's break a couple of these alliances okay maybe not okay we can just ignore the money break it no actually you still won't accept it uh, is there something I can ignore oh yeah skip war war reparations and say break it with you Bec why I break it with them it's not because of their fearful enemy because that would be such a big territory I, they get well basically I would have to grab more territory from them to be able to break them alone if I if they are in the war I would have to probably occupy some of them as well to be able to break the will of Hormuz so if I break well relationship with them well it would be nice uh, let's break with them thank you and there we go all of that land is now in my control wait I can't court this one yet but we have oh my, right this is also new never mind we don't have any access to it uh, let's take both of these provinces thank you all your la all your money and and that piece thank you now we finally have a walking access right there god that, wa that was very much needed uh, let's send in the troops right there and uh, damn it I forgot that I actually should well should have started training everyone else oh you lost your leader let's get a new one and let's start training god it's it feels so expensive to just start hiring new leaders all the time I've really been active in that just hiring new leaders all the time instead of focusing on well boosting up military IDs which I should really have been doing but right now as soon as we get to a permanent army general cost minus 50 percent that would be so awesome this is like one of my f favorite bonuses really decreasing general cost by 50 percent or yeah by 50 percent please and right here oh god I, did you break or did you actually finally go against them i think you might have gone against those rebels uh, let's just go in right here and bring down Poor little vassal. I'm forcing you to grab so much land that is so expensive to core just because I don't want to. Oh, that was a pretender even. There you go. Wipe you out. And I got a achievement right now. Arabian coffee. Nice. Uh, let's see. A bunch of stuff. Okay. A bunch of immigration events. Oh, that must have been... Since it's now under my control, I haven't said anything about it. That's well, probably why it was den denied right now. 
Uh, of course, we get promote Egyptian go <laughs> promote Egyptian in uh, government right after we started coring everything. Right, of course. Uh, let's see what can we do with all these points. <sighs> okay, I know what we can do actually. Okay, yeah, let's just do it then. Uh, let's do this and then just develop the crap out of everything. Uh, let's see. So it's still 17, 16 that is like the top. Yeah. So let's see. 13, 14. 14 is a pretty good one. Here's a 16 for 33. 16 for 33. 27 for 13. That's pretty good. 13. God, 9 was not as good. But there. We basically spent 800 points now just developing. And that should have boosted up our income by actually by quite a bit. We now earn 41. And we are forcing down corruption right now by... Oh, we are actually not. Oh, I thought we would. But it seems like all our random bonuses are now, well, enough to bring it down. Basically, are ahead of time in tech stuff. Uh, let's just send back the troops again and, well, help them force down that. Actually, uh, we should have a slightly higher force limit now. Yes, we do. So let's see, I can build, let's see, what should I build? I should probably build, oh, we can build it right here. Let's send in three troops right there. Let's go one more cavalry and then one, two. Wait, what? What's going on? Why is this counted as two force limit? What? But it's counted one. Okay, that's still counted as one. But can... Wait, what? That's very, very interesting. Building cannons in your puppet counts as two force limit? No. Okay, okay. This is super interesting now. I'm gonna build two of them right now. This should just fill my force limit. It should not, not go over the entire force limit. So I want to see what happens when both of you are now produced. Because, holy crap, that's... That's definitely at least an interface bug. <laughs> nice. Okay, come on. Let's get out here. I, I, I couldn't give a least crap about that siege right now. But... Huh. It's counted as two force limit. Okay, you are now 14 right here. Let's just stand in right here just in case. Just in case we don't take that capital. Because that would be annoying if I have to re take it uh, let's see no I'm gonna pay those 700 ducats uh, side with one family let's just try to settle the issue and there we go awesome so our small extra army is now actually getting pretty big right now it's another let's see 17,000 troops soon you can join up in the main army and let's see remove Ottomans from the map yeah I want to do that but not just yet and we could well protect our brothers in Okay, good. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's send in the Antara. Come on, yes, get over here. Uh, we could actually get our ruler and just train him right here, but having ruler out as a general increases the chance of them dying. Uh, so I would l not like to do that, but we are like... The general is too good. No, no, our ruler is right now too good, even though we're not clearly getting one every year right now because we're actually missing quite a bit 17 troops actually let's just send it in let's just send in everyone right there let's group that together and let you train everyone because now we're getting one every month uh, send them whatever they need yeah whatever the traders want i will provide and let's see so you are just slightly unrestful against me even after me taking all of that territory you're slightly unrestful god that's so nice um, we could almost remove it with just that one thing. Uh, you want military access? I'm not gonna give you anything. Not anything to anyone. God. We have a CB against you because, well, not because of permanent claims, just because you have this, well, a green color, and that's kind of annoying. That close to me. Uh, so, where should we go right now? Ethiopia, I feel like should be one more war, but maybe it's just time to declare war against you and remove most parts of you. But that would increase my, well, aggressive expansion by quite a bit. And eventually we will get everyone against us if we keep pushing the aggressive expansion more and more. Hungary is, well, declaring war and it's fine. 
Spain is also doing quite fine. Let's bump that up, bump up the trust to 100 right there. Uh, let's see. Annexing this vassal is still 1,900. <laughs> That's freaking insane. I'm thinking maybe even to pick this one. Just to go up three levels right here to get that minus now. But maybe I should just keep a very one big very oh well one very big puppet right there. Because I, I don't really want this territory. It's not super good territory, it's just super expensive to core. Uh, let's see, all of these don't have Beber these, neither do you, right? No, not right here. It's really just this coastline. Yeah. Um, so let's see, where should we go? Let's get that extra legalism, thank you. And that should basically be 100% now, uh, 76%, close enough. Let's see, 10% less cost, yeah, that kind of sounds very nice, and we don't have anything to pick. Nope, let's pick this one, and that should decrease our cost by 4.5 ducats. Very nice. That's like a couple of cannons worth, which is super nice. Okay, um, so... Oh, you're allied with Bahamas now. That might actually be a tiny bit troublesome, because you could land troops. Ooh. I'm kind of interested now to see how that war would go. Okay, let's gather up the troops. Well, I don't think they will do very much to actually save you, but... Well, you never know. Uh, let's see. How much actually supply is here? Yeah, it's still way too much. Okay, I'm just gonna separate out a couple of troops right now. Actually, no. I'm g I can just do this. Conform to template. Thank you. That's 26 troops. And you are now free. Oh, God. That's awesome. That's really awesome. That's a good way of using conform to template. Uh, yeah. Because that's you split up that army. And this one is, well, generally whatever else that was left. Um, once I take more land from you, then I should be able to get enough for- Oh, actually, let's just do it like this. Uh, with mental force and just get a couple of you built and that should be able to bump up my, well, force limit enough so I can fix that for you. Or make him a proper size division. Because right now I think it's worth it. We'll basically keep you as guarding duty, but still you should be a proper size. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't want you at proper size. Never mind. We don't want you at proper size. Uh, let's see. Because I don't want to be able to... Well, then I would ha kind of have to be forced to have... Actually, I can just merge you with someone else again. Uh, never mind. I was going to say, uh, then I kind of have to force have another general, which would delay... That would cost me even more military points. But it would also get me... Hiring that extra one leader will give me a bump of one every now and then. Ex no, no, no. No, we'll not hire a leader, we'll just merge you with another army. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's clear this war right now. Uh, I don't even know what I took this war goal. I think it was this. Oh, yeah, it was. Nice. <laughs> Actually, a pretty good one. Uh, more upkeep. Holy sh... Natural tax modifier, minus 20%. For how long? 15 years. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to lose one stability, to be honest. Because that one, I can just bump up. If I have to 180, it's not that much. Actually, should I do it right now? Ah, sure. Let's do it. Because that's one of the things that are really forcing down all the vaults right now. Uh, we could increase, well, force it down even more by just picking a guy that would basically have... Uh, okay, we don't have one right now, but you know, the minus two unrest guy. So, well, whenever we want to and feel like next guy I'm probably bumping up to level five will be a minus unrest guy. So we'll just be safe from that. Just grab everything right here, thank you. Just continue marching in. God, this will go very, very quickly. Now, let's see. We are at war with Bahamas. Yes, we are. But the big question is what they will do. If they're gonna gather up with, well, gather up some troops and they actually come as an army, or if they will just simply ignore them. Uh, let's get some slight corruption right now. Let's see, how quickly will you pull it down? It costs five to root out corruption. Okay, that's fine. 42, ah, oh, damn it. Now uh, let's just let this slide. Thank you. And uh, you take that, you take this. God, this boy's gone extremely quickly. 
there we go, you take this, you take that, oh god, I love when wars just goes extremely quickly like this. Uh, let's see, but still, as you can see, we're only at 70%. This is kind of the same thing why I broke the alliance with you, Trans uh, Transoxia, because now they have a very big player in the war, which will, even if I occupy all of you, it won't count as, as well, won't count as, as much. So I will have a, probably have to invade them. Oh god, they have one fort right there. Please take that before Crimea take it. Because you're apparently also trying to sneak in and grab it. But as you can see, they on, they're they only at war with them. And the tiny area they have grabbed is counted as 21%. And even though I have like 4 or 5 forts, it's still a lot more than that. Or they have more than me. Even though I have one fort right there. I have s God, do you have the capital or something? No, not really. So, still, God. Really, yours is counted as that much. Now, let's see. Can I march them? Actually, I can march all the way right here. That'd be interesting. Uh, let's wait until we have our entire armies. Well, done and ready. Or, not entire army, but almost. Uh, you are actually exiled right now. That'd be interesting, because where will you get back? To? Oh, really? Even if you walk into our occupied territory by me? Uh, there we go. Our entire army. Let's just march in. Get over there. And I will focus on this tiny, tiny army. L you're actually going to get the general right now. Ooh, a four. Okay. Yeah. Let's go for the... There we go. Let's destroy that army, hopefully. Uh, really? That one more time? God damn it. That cost me tons of points. Really? That, that hurt. Uh, sure, let's just get the last one right there. Uh, should I bump it up again? Yeah, I should... And let's destroy that army, thank you. Now you can ret return and start training. Because now I shouldn't be able to fear anyone right there but, but, but Barhamis. Come on, get over here. You joined the war, now I will have to destroy you too. God, I'm taking attrition right now, marching this entire way. We only have 51,000 more men. But I guess you didn't expect me to march over this entire way. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, oh, really? <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay even more manpower? God, freaking damn it. Uh, let's bump this one up and let's recruit some well, manpower that way. And all of these men just gather up right here. God, I will force so much money from you to be able to pay for all of this. You should have quite a bit of money that I should be able to take from you. And um, Wasteland, oh good, we can recruit manpower right there too, we're back at 70,000, and there's a bunch of money too. Talk about timing, talk about timing to get that. But anyway guys, I will actually have to end the episode right now. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, and bye.